Now let's say you have two files. Let's say um in this file you have it say echo hello world pause in this file you say echo bob pause now what if you want to run both files well pi bob and this one hello world well, if we say test what this does if you say the name of another one of our files it'll run it see echo hello world but the problem is after it runs the file we called on it doesn't continue with our code so if you use call when you use call it will say it will call, call the that file and then it will still continue with our code um this tutorial is on just basic commands like this that i have not went over um time time is pretty useful time the current time blah 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 time slash question mark you can say like time slash t to get the current time then you can say something like there is a better way to do this without creating a file but that's in a future tutorial time slash t send the output to let's just make just name the file temp then we're going to set slash p time equals temp del temp what this will do it will send the output of time to a text file named temp and then it will set the variable time to the context of the temp file or the time and then it's going to delete the temp file that's what the del command does so I run all this it's going to go really fast it's not going to seem like it's going to do anything but if we echo the current time is time it's going to say the current time is blah 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 but there's already a time variable built in it looks slightly different so we don't really have to get our time like that there's already a time variable built in there's a whole bunch of variables built in see this time variable it says you know like a whole bunch of different times it even says in seconds but there's also a date variable built in the current time or let me change this to date the current date is 6 sept 11 um there's uh, more built in variables we'll, you'll see more when we go over randomizing um, we're just going over some basic commands. Um, dir commands. Mk dir. That's make dir or make directory. This makes a folder. Dog. That created dog. And see, this folder is empty. So if I type in make dir dog. It's going to create a dog. Now you can't delete folders um, with the del command. To delete a folder, um, we want to use rmdir or remove directory. And that will remove the folder. Now some more commands we can go with like ren. Ren renames a file. So let's echo oh I can't show you this real quick but if you say like just echo and nothing after it it's going to tell you the current echo state echo is on um, but if you put echo and a dot after it you can say like echo dot bob and it's going to say bob because the dot after it won't be echoed out it won't it won't um, yeah basically it won't be echoed out so if you just put echo dot it won't tell you the current echo state and it'll just echo a blank line so we're going to send a blank line to test.txt that just creates us an empty file now with the ren commands for renaming files ren test.txt bob.jml now when I double click this it changes test.txt to bob.jml
Um, there's also a rem command. Let's say I say echo hi, pause, rem dog. Hi, press the key to continue. You notice rem dog didn't affect pause at all. That's the point of your rem command. It's remarks. Um, it's they're also known as comments. When you put comments in a code, they're not executed. They're just stuff for you to remember. So rem I love pi. I love pi. Even if I put it like right here, all these, none of these lines will affect my codes. They're just notes for us. You can also put double colons, and that will work as just like the remark command, the rem. Um, that's also for comments. Most of the time, people use double colons because it looks more professional, I guess. So, um, it, remember, if you type in the name of a command slash question mark, it tells you about it. Records remarks in a batch file. Echo slash question mark displays messages or turns command echoing on or off. Um, pause slash question mark suspends um, processing of a batch program and displays the message. Pressing the key to continue. Let's go over. Let's type in help. We can go over replace, move, um, replace and move are basically same things. Replace just takes a file and replaces it with another one. Move is what's mostly used. See if I say, let me delete the pause. Echo test.txt make der bob now when I run this it's going to create test.txt and directory bob now I can use my move command move to move test.txt into slash bob test.txt now it's best to put quotes around these and see these are called command line arguments command line arguments are any arguments after the command. So here's my command move, test.txt is an argument, and then bob is an argument. And you usually put commas between your arguments like that. So like echo hi, hi is our argument. Um let me think. Echo slash question mark slash question mark is your argument. Your argument is anything that appears after the command. And um, like Paul's doesn't take any arguments except slash question mark. Um, CLS clears the screen. I already said this, but you, echo is one of the only commands that you shouldn't put quotes around it because I'll actually see the quotes as the argument. Um, but see, mob in our arguments we put quotes, comma, and then we're saying a second argument. Our first one is our file we want to move. And our second one is where we want to move it to. Now, when you run this, I think I should put a dot there. There we go. When you put a dot here, what this says is um, you want to move the file. Dot says in our current directory, which is my desktop, slash bob slash test.txt that's where we're moving it so dot slash bob the dot means our current directory dot dot means one behind our current directory so like that would be I'm moving it to bob and C users net bob test.txt but because my directory is C users net desktop so it's going two dots will go back a directory and one dot will get our current directory. So that moved Bob into Bob or that moved test.txt into the Bob folder. Um, let's see if there's any other commands. Task kill the only really um, task kill we'll go over this more in depth in another tutorial because some really useful things. Oh yeah um, um, where is it? You have a lot of 
like commands that you shouldn't be playing around with because sometimes people do and tend to make malware out of it and I would this advise you not to such as the shutdown command if you use it right it can be used to shut down your computer like instantly and not just log out like shut down and off um so we already know what the help command does four we'll go over there four find we don't we're not really going to go too in depth and find strings um let me see I think I may go over here's dir I'm going to go over dir real quick I'll go ahead and go over tell you what copy does and then I'll sh I can't believe I haven't showed you color yet that's the simplest so dir dir lists all the files in the directory see it says Bob this is a our current directory is my desktop see directory of C users in a desktop and it's saying here's a whole bunch of information about it and it's saying dot that's our current directory dot dot to the directory before ours now Bob is the folder right there hello dot bat is this and it's telling us how many bytes are in here 44 bytes one file and then three three directories and then the saying and the three directories are here dot our current directory dot dot the directory before ours there's always a dot and a dot dot I think if you're like at the furthest back directory like your C drive there may not be two dots um, but there's always going to be at least a dot because that means your current directory where you are so that's our three directories and Bob and if you say dir slash question mark there's a whole bunch of different attributes. If we say dir slash a, it will list all the files on my desktop, including my hidden files and my system files and any file with specified attributes. You may not have seen, but I actually have hidden on my desktop a whole bunch of different files, such as a zip file, an IME I was working on, new folder, um, this hidden file. I move all my desktop stuff into there before I make a tutorial to clear my desktop. Um, an original soundtrack and that's a whole bunch of different things and as you can see there's actually 936 bytes on my desktop so dir slash a actually lists everything now dir slash b is bare that's what slash, the slash b switch means so that's saying we're listing everything bare we're not listing all this confusing stuff just gonna say our two two main directories bob hello dot bat dir slash b slash a will list everything like that now you have a dir slash s dir slash s will instead of just listing names like this will list their full path and also all subfolders such as dir slash s it's going to list a lot because I have a lot of subfolders and stuff dir slash b slash s slash a as you can see it lists a lot because I have a whole bunch here as you can see that lists a whole bunch of files and everything. So I'm going to go over another command real quick. Color. Colors for changing console color. It's not very powerful because it changes the entire console. Which is the, like, the only language that changes the entire console color when you try to change the color. Um, it works like this. Color 0A. The second. This is actually kind of a representation of a hex colors. Um, the first is your background color, second your foreground color, and see A is light green, and then 0 is black. So if I say color A0, it's going to do the opposite. Color 07 is your original. So that's a simple color command. Um, So color 0A, color slash T, and it, oops, I used that wrong. But um, if you just type in the color command by itself, it will reset your color. Now help, let's see if I, there's any more. Copy, 
It's same as move, you know, you got your two arguments and quotes as a comma between it, except you're copying your file to somewhere else instead of moving it. Um, compare, I've never really understood compare. You just compare two files, it tells you something really worthless about them. I guess somehow it can be useful. I just don't know. And attribute is the last one I want to show you in this tutorial. Attribute add, add, adds attributes to files. See, you can say slash question mark, it tells you about it. See my file hello.bat? If I say attrib plus s hello.bat, it's going to hide my file. It's going to make it a system file. That's a plus s. And so if I use minus s, it subtracts the system file attribute for, from it. So attrib plus h hello.bat. Whoops, hello.bat. It's going to hide my file. Now it disappears on my desktop. It's there, but it's hidden. So now if I run the same command, but minus H, it's going to subtract the um, the hidden file attribute. You can have all the attributes you want. We can make our file hidden system um, an archive file all and like as many things as we want. But that's what the attrib command is for. It's for adding and subtracting attributes. So you can like say test.txt attrib plus h test.txt. What this will do is create a hidden file on my desktop at test.txt. Now dir slash b slash a. And as you can see, there's a test.txt on my desktop, which is hidden. And if I try to delete a hidden file, it won't let me. But if I say attrib minus h test.txt then delete it so I'll let me delete it so that's it for this tutorial just a whole bunch of commands you can use in match the next we're going to go over like four loops